Hi guys and welcome to a quick info video tutorial about how to turn a DLL into a standalone executable file. In general there would be two main cases when you want to do something like that, when the actual code is inside an exported function or when the code is inside DLL main itself. I have a message box being shown with hello from DLL main at process attach and an exported function with the name test entry where another message box is being displayed uh, with hello from test entry. I'm just gonna run this DLL with run dll32.exe. Here will be the path of the DLL test file dll comma test and here will be the exported function name when i hit enter it will call first the dll main because the dll is initialized itself and then it's gonna call the the message box from the um, exported function as you can see but what if we want to double click on this dll file and actually um, run like an executable so let me just show you this is a uh, executable file if i right click and open it with cff explorer and if um, we go to file we can see that characteristics has the value 0102 in uh, hex and if i click here i can see that this value is being created from file is executable flag and 32 bit word machine flag now if we open the dll file and file header we can see the value from characteristics is 2102 because if i click here it is also checked the file is dll flag so what we need to do to make it behave like an executable first we need to uncheck this file is a dll and hit ok now now you see that um, the value is like the previous executable 0102 i'm gonna save it like that I'm just going to override the original file, but I still cannot change right now the extension and double click on it because we, since our code is inside the um, exported function, we need to tell somehow to our program to move the entry point to this function. So to do that, I'm going to use another portable executable explorer called PEBeer. The link is in the description below. So we're going to open PEBeer. I'm just gonna move uh, my DLL inside. So I know it's a lot of information here, but uh, stay with me. So we're gonna go to exports. And as you can see, inside exports, there is our exported function. And it has its relative virtual address, 1080. Just right click and make sure you have the follow on click enabled. And take a look at this if I click um, away here the memory view is going to be changed so when I click on 1080 it's changing itself now I make sure that I am already clicked here and then when I go to this assembly I check if my code view starts with the same address in memory I go here I right click and I'm gonna set entry point to this 1080 address I click yes then I'm gonna go back here into dot text section right click and then I'm gonna save the executable as a um, test dot exe okay I'm gonna close everything and now if I double click on this executable as you can see my exported function runs but not the dll main because that works only if the file is a dll if ha if it has that dll flag and if it initializes itself the second case is when you don't have an exported function at all you have the code inside this dll main so in this case you need to do some more patching with this assembler or writing in c plus plus inline assembly you will need to fill the three arguments from the dll especially important are the first two which is the H module and the reason. So the first argument uh, must contain the module handle, which is the image base. Secondly, should be filled with one to emulate the DLL process attached. If I hover over 
DLL process attached. It says that it expands to one, and the third parameter can be uh, just uh, null. To fill the first argument with the valid image base, we need to copy the value from process environment block, which is pointed by fs30. Then we will fill the second argument with a value one, emulating that the DLL is loaded. The third argument can be filled with null, as I said. And don't forget after this to create a returning jump. If you knew about this conversion, just like the video. If you didn't, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.